Yeah. Get some rubber bands and yeah, yeah. do that one over. Yeah, you got rubber bands somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty easy. Good. Collecting samples for diagnostic tests, and as the frame has been lifted from the hive, shaked onto the cardboard, and then through the funnel into the bag. This sort of bumping here is going to vibrate with any mites or pests on the comb or in the frame. Just to confirm that some of the matters in the smoker is organic, is where we have pieces of tree bark, so there's not no chemical that causes the smoke in the beehive, in the smoker. We're going to be checking this nook. Let's see. It's strong. Mm, it's not ready for ten frames yet. Anybody want to shake from that? Look for even the students they will need be keepers. Shake, shake it, shake over the back, over the back. Make sure the queen is not on the cardboard, right? That's not a good shake. Oh, no, oh. oh shake, shake. If you're on the cardboard, we'll see her. Good. Funnel. Dr. Lakin, can you say why you're collecting the bees in that container you're holding there? Well, the bees collected in this container. Speaks louder. Doing, this, the bees we take in this container is going, going to be um, used to, to be spliced, to, um, mm -hmm. to be pl um, to, to, um, preserving an RNA solution, which will be used to test for viruses and, and, and other test for viruses. So we store an RNA solution. After we finish this activity here this afternoon, they will be, sli they will be spliced cut it to small pieces and then stored in RNA solution. Mr. Weber from the USA, the April inspector. Can you say what this exercise is all about? Yep, we're, um, hmm? we, we've been invited down to Guyana to, um, to do a national disease and pest of the honeybee survey. And so we're here collecting samples in uh, Mr. Ryan's apiary um, here on the West Bank, uh, Lagrange. And uh, we're collecting samples of uh, live adult bees and also some larval samples to uh, take back to some labs in the States to make sure that the, uh, the pests of the honeybee are under control. I know you cannot give um, any results reporters yet, but so far from the beehives that you've seen in Guyana, basically, how do you rate the standard of the bees health-wise? Very high. The, the bees look great. The frame I was just holding there has a beautiful brood pattern. Um, very little damage from varroa mite is visible and uh, virtually no damage from other pests uh, such as wax moth or uh, hive beetles. Um, and Mr. Weber, is it true, is this is, is only in Guyana is the first time you handle Africanized bees? Yes, yep, that's true. Yep. Uh, when, I, when I normally work bees, I'm working uh, European bees which aren't so aggressive, uh, but with proper handling techniques we can handle these Africanized bees uh, on days of nice weather. With, uh, with bare hands. Thank you, Venus dear. All right, we have to break this one down to get into the brood because this is a honey chamber at the top and we want to get direct to the brood. So, as we lift the honey chamber off, we're going to rest it on the cover and then we go back to the brood. This looks like an old hive. The colors yeah, of the comb yeah, alone tell you that this yeah. hive is very old. I can see a queen cell. I can see a queen cell in that comb. Well, the queen is active. 
Mr. Butts, can you tell you the reason why you're yeah, putting those bees, bees in that bag? Alright, um, these bees are collected so that we can um, sample for viruses of it and also we will check for pyromites and do general testing for pests and disease. Now, in order to do this, we will crush these bees, put them in the RNA solution, and which is, this will be done in the lab, okay? And that's basically, that's basically it. Thank you. Yes. Um, okay, Makiba, can you just go a little bit Amy there so I can get to see you a little better? And just explain to me what Mrs. Weeks is doing with that comb and the reason for her doing what she's doing. the brood on it and hit it against the pan. She's doing this just to see if there is any varroa mite or any other mite. I can't really remember the tropolalex mm -hmm. mite if, to see if we have that in Guyana. So that's basically what she's demonstrating here. So that method is called what? Bumping. Bumping. Thank you. This that we're carrying out. This is Mr. Mentis, a senior man in bees in this country, a guy with wealth and knowledge. And we don't know why his knowledge is not being used, but we're going to hear from Mr. Mentis. Yeah, what do you think about the exercise? Oh, I, I feel the exercise is a great one, and what we're doing here, we're trying to find out if we have any pests or diseases in this country. That's why we have these two volunteers here. And what we're actually doing now, we're taking some samples, and Ms. Amy Weeks and Dr. Anita Weber, they would, they would do the, um, the testing, and they're able to tell us if we have any virus or any whatever the sick we may have and if you're free from all um, pests and diseases. Thank you Mr. Mentis. What do you think about this exercise as Guyan is trying to make sure that his status is clean in terms of pests and disease and we don't want to be blacklisted like some countries that has a lot of pests and disease in bees? Well, it's good that we're on our way to make sure that our honey is free of pests and diseases and also that we would have that certification and we know for sure that we don't have certain viruses that would affect the honey production, affect the bee which would in terms of mm -hmm, the honey mm -hmm. production. And that way we would be able to export maybe something in the future to other countries via the Trinidad mm -hmm. in transit. Thank you. Are at Mr. Warsali Hive. Ryan, tell us something about your apiary. And Ryan is one of the well, best that came out of Kingdom Apiary. My apiary, we got about 25 hives here. The main source of nectar is around Desmond. But for the last year, I noticed a drop in production. Are you being affected by the weather too? The dry I think weather? It's the weather, the long spell of dry weather. But hopefully this year better. I notice I got some blossoms coming out now. Okay. So hopefully if you get a good harvest this year. And once you see a beekeeper in his apiary, working without gloves, he's being trained by Kingdom Apiary. I like the Kingdom Apiary. 